everybody. Good morning and welcome back to day three. Um, today I have an awesome, awesome ab workout for you today. It's going to be all about the abs. We're going to do 30 minutes and really just focusing on strengthening and shredding out the core. You guys are going to love it. Okay, so I don't know about you, but I am crazy super sore right now. So for whatever reason, I've decided to join this uh, boot camp that my coach is doing locally. She lives just 10 minutes from me and does these boot camps every um, summer, which are super fun. And I get together with a bunch of other um, people, moms and friends, you know, and do boot camp in the park. So I've been doing those in addition to uh, working out with you in the morning. And as a result, I am super, super sore. So. If you guys are sore, I totally get it. If you're avoiding sitting down or going downstairs or you try to pick your child up and you're like, oh, OMG, I might drop you because my arms hurt so bad, I totally get you. So um, I'm going to do something a little different this morning and we're going to go through a 12 minute um, really great warm up. So the reason for this to do it is if you're sore like me, if it's super early in the morning and you just woke up like 20 minutes ago and you need to get your muscles warmed up before you jump into a workout, it's always a great idea to do a good workout to get warmed up so you don't injure yourself um, by working cold muscles. So if it's later in the day and you're rewatching this video and you're totally warmed up, you don't need this, totally fine to skip it. It's going to be 12 minutes long. Um, so feel free to just move the space bar along and get right into abs. But if you're sore like me and you need a, a nice 12 minute warm up, hang with me and we're going to go through it and then jump in to 30 minutes of abs. Okay, so here we go. We're just going to start with a little bit of a lateral run. So nothing crazy. No high knees, let me back up a little bit here. Just slowly going back and forth. We're just warming up the body. So this warm up, like I said, is 12 minutes long and it's just to get your muscles warm and relaxed and ready to go. Okay, so we're not doing any crazy high knees like the other day. Just easy, okay? Now we're gonna do little twists and pivots. So as you twist to the side, you pivot. So you step out and twist. Twist, 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 okay? Nothing crazy. Don't wanna pull any muscles. Like I said, we're just warming up slowly. So we're getting that heart rate up, we're getting our muscles warm, okay? Now, safety jacks. Out, sorry, in, out, in, like we did in the workout the other day, but not as high intensity, okay? Just easy, keep your arms shoulder width apart, legs are coming in and out. This is gonna help warm up the shoulders, Warm up the legs, inner and outer thighs. Okay, now next we're doing something called Roman lunges. I'm gonna go sideways to make it a little bit easier. Start with your hands together, fifth. Okay, and you're gonna step back and you're gonna open over the forward leg, same arm as the forward leg goes back and switch. Then you following your hand. This is going to feel really nice in your chest, opening up the chest. And done. Okay, now we're going to warm up the legs a little bit. So if you need help with your balance, just grab a chair to hold on to right next to you. Okay. I have one right here, so I'm gonna go up this side. And we're just going to open and across. Open, across. Two, we're doing 10. 
Whoopsie, I'm gonna tear a little bit and not quite warmed up yet with my balance. Totally fine. This isn't about, you know, how awesome you can balance. It's just about getting warmed up. Okay, and then we're gonna go forward, back, forward, back, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, other leg, same thing. Let's see which way would be better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like I said, if you need to, just rest this arm on a chair for balance, okay? Now, forward, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now we are gonna do something called a Swenson salutation, which is similar to a sun salutation that you would do in yoga, okay? Hands together, all the way up, and come bring your arms out, together, out, open, fold all the way down. Come right here, okay? So we're down, we come up into flat back, down, step back into plank, down, up dog, press back into down dog, step your feet together, flat back, back down, all the way up, and stretch back. Ooh. Arms together, out, together, out, open, pull down, flat back, and back down. Step back into plank. Up dog, and down dog. Step together, flat back, back down. All the way up, a little stretch back. Ooh. Out to the side, like goal post, together, out, together, out, open, fold all the way down, flat back, down, hands to the floor, step back, lower down, up dog. Ah, does that feel good? Down and out. Step your feet in. Flat back. Now we're gonna go back into down dog and we're gonna pedal the back feet. Okay? So let's make sure you can see me. Okay? And you're just gonna Put one heel down, right heel down, left leg forward, knee off, or heel off the ground, and switch, and switch. Now this shouldn't hurt, so don't push your muscles to the point of where you're feeling pain. We don't wanna tear anything, we're just stretching. Okay, bring your feet in, up to flat back, and down. We're gonna go into a runner's lunge, okay? So right leg back, both hands on the inside of that forward leg, okay? And then we're gonna 
do little push-ups. So the, the elbow closest to the knee is going to go under the knee. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Just go as low as your flexibility will allow. Like I said, again, you don't want to be straining or hurting the muscles in any way. Okay? Now we're going to um, switch, and if you need to, drop this lower knee to the ground. Okay? Now, uh, keep that same knee forward. Okay? Like this, so one knee on the ground, other leg forward. And we're gonna go into a hip and hamstring stretch, okay? So we're gonna come back and forward. Back, forward. So you'll feel the stretch here in your hamstring and in your hip. And in your hamstring, whoop, and in your hip. Okay, now switch. Other leg forward, same thing. Forward and back. And forward and back. Now this isn't in this position, it's not about how low you can go. Okay? You don't want to drop your back. Keep your chest up and just go as low as you can, keeping that form. Okay, so forward and back. And forward and back and forward and back forward back. All right, so now we're going to go into cat and dog, or some people call it cat cow. I don't know why, but they do. So basically, we're going to be stretching, lengthening, opening up the chest and the spine so you're on your all fours. If your kids are with you, they love doing this one. So you tuck your hips under and in, arch up, and your head drops down. And then blow the air out and look up. And in. And up. And in. And up. And in. And up. And in. And up. Kind of like a cat and a dog, right? <laughs> Are you guys feeling better? You feeling warmed up? Yeah? Okay. You guys ready to rock it with me? We're gonna go into 30 minutes of abs. Okay? So, what I have for you guys, one, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, I just have to put together what I, I count what I did last night. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have five rounds two exercises each round. So similar to, a uh, similar structure to the work, <laughs> excuse me, workout one, day one that we did together. Okay, so two exercises each round. We repeat each of those two exercises once and then we move on. So you are gonna need a weight for this exercise. Just a moderate weight is fine. Anywhere from three to five to eight pounds to 10 pounds, depending on your strength and Feel free, of course, to switch out. If you know you start with one weight and it's too heavy, just drop it and grab another one. No problem with that. Um, if you need to modify, don't grab a weight. Also, totally fine, okay? So our first move of the day is an oblique crunch. So you're gonna grab your one weight and right leg out. So you have your weight in your right hand right leg out, the weight is coming into your left or supporting leg. Arm is going up overhead and you're crunching in and reach, in, reach, in, reach. Okay, and we're gonna do 30 seconds on the right, 30 seconds on the left, 
and then we'll switch to our next move. All right, we ready? Hold on one sec, let me get my notes here in front of me so we are ready to go. Sorry, I was trying to get my stopwatch going and for some reason I'm having technical difficulties. One sec. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I needed to make sure my stopwatch could actually track us so we're not just sitting here going on forever. Okay, so starting with that oblique crunch, weight in your right hand, right leg going out. Put your weight in your heel of your left leg. Ready? Palm facing forward. And here we go. 30 seconds. So you really should feel that crunch in your obliques. Like I said, if you need to modify, drop the weight. If you want to make it harder, grab a heavy weight or keep this leg off the ground. Don't tap. And that's going to challenge your balance even more. And whenever we work balance, it works our abs even more. Now switch. Opposite arm, weight into your right leg and crunch. You can put your hand right here on your obliques to really make sure those are engaging. That's what we're working right here. Oh, that gives you that sexy V shape to your abs that we all love. And done. Okay, the second move is a weighted standing crunch. So you have your weight in both hands and you're going to raise it up over your head. Oh wait, sorry, wrong one. Just going to hold it right here and you're going to crunch. Okay, ready? Here we go. 60 seconds. In. So really make sure you are pulling your abs in this whole time. So you could easily stand here and do this and not work the abs if you weren't engaging them. But that's not what we're about, right? We're not just going to skate through these next 30 minutes. No, we're here to work. So pull in those abs and really crunch, crunch. Keep your shoulders relaxed and in, out, in. Got it. And oof. And done. All right. Ready to go back to standing oblique crunch crunches. Weight is again in the right arm. Hand over head. And go. 30 seconds on this side. Now, make sure your weight is in the heel of that supporting leg, not on the toe. You want it in the heel. And really make sure you're engaging those obliques. You should really feel it in the side of your abs. Three more seconds on this side. And switch. Left leg out, left hand up, and go. You got this palm facing forward. You guys are doing great. Really crunch in and stretch up overhead. Crunch, stretch. 10 seconds. You're doing great. Hang in there. Your abs are gonna be burning by the end of these 30 minutes. All right, and rest. Okay, standing crunch. Weight in both hands, driving your knee into your abs. 
And here we go. So you should be feeling this in your upper abs and your lower abs from bringing that knee in. There you go. Really put force behind this too. Like I said last round, don't just half as it. You're better than that. I know I can't see you, so you need to motivate yourself. Keep yourself accountable. Hold yourself to a higher standard of excellence. I know you can do it. 10 seconds. Really drive that knee in. Crunch. You got this. Three, two, one. All right. Round one is done. Moving on to round two. We've got a side bend. Okay, so we're working those obliques again. Weight in your right hand, and it's gonna come down your thigh and then up. Ready? Three, two, one, down, up. Down, up, down. And now you're gonna be feeling this in the obliques of the opposite side as you are pulling that weight back up. We have 30 seconds on this side, and then we switch to the other side. If need be, to modify, drop the weight in your right hand, or don't go as low. Now, make sure your hips are staying underneath you. Okay, switch hands real quick, opposite side. Okay, so when you go down, your hips shouldn't move. We don't want them going like that, right? Keep your hips underneath you. It's just your upper body that goes down. Now, your arm, your shoulder are not tense and gripping. They're not working today. Give them a little rest for now. <laughs> Till we go to the plank. But just holding the weight and all of the pull is coming from those obliques. And done. Okay. Next move is a plank rock. So this is really fun. You're coming down on your forearms. Let's make sure you can see me. Okay. And you're coming over your toes and back. And over and back. Okay, ready? 60 seconds. If you need to modify, just drop to your knees. Here we go. Now, make sure you're keeping a flat line in your back. Remember, we're not sticking our butt up in the air, keeping it down and coming over and back. So really keep those abs drawn in, supporting your lower back. You're going to start to feel this in your shoulders, in your abs. Draw those thighs tight together. Even though we are working the abs, you're still going to be feeling it in your thighs and your shoulders. You're welcome. Almost done. And there we go. Stretch your back just a few seconds. And stand up slowly. Don't give yourself a head rush. Grab that weight. And we're going back to the beginning. Okay? Standing side bend. Weight in your right hand. Three, two, one. And bend. So keep your hand on this side. Why do we do that? Because when you put intention on the muscle you are working, you actually work it better. So we're not sitting here thinking about what we need to do later today. We're not looking at our massive piles of laundry Ooh. that need to be done. We are focusing right now on the obliques. Okay, and switch sides. Oh gosh, I'm sorry, I forgot to switch sides. <laughs> I was going on talking about my laundry. Okay, 
to stop my stopwatch, reset, and we're going to do 30 seconds. Okay? Now, to the left side. Here we go. So like I said, put your intention on this muscle right here. Focus on that. Keeping it tight and drawn in. This is what we're working right now. Nothing else. Keep that shoulder relaxed. Did you see my shoulder come up on that one? Keep your shoulder relaxed. It's not working. Just the obliques. Okay. Three, two, and one. Nice. Now we are coming down for the plank rock. Okay, you ready? Six of the water. Drop the weight and coming down onto the mat. Make sure you can see me on your forearms. Flat back, and here we go. So you're just rocking forward over the arms and back onto the toes. Forward, back. Keeping those thighs tight, drawn in. Flat back, going up through your abs. Here we go. So if you need to modify, drop onto your knees. Like that, but you can do this up over your toes. You guys are doing great. Definitely feeling it in the abs. Ten seconds to go. Up on the toes and back. And rest. Woo! Six stretch back. And okay. Let's see, next is a knee pull. And we are going to be on the mat for the rest of this workout. So I'm gonna bring you down just a little bit lower so you can see me better, okay? Here we go, since we're gonna be down on the mat here. Yay, okay. First move is a knee pull. So we're gonna be in high plank, right? On your hands, here we go. And you're gonna be coming in, in, out, out. Ready? Three, two, one. In, in, out, out, in. In, out, out. Okay, so we're working oof, out, out. Lower abs and obliques. Now, if you need to modify, you can come down onto your forearms or you cannot bring your legs in quite so far. So just little bit and little side. Okay, but do your best. We've got 20 seconds left. <sighs> 10 seconds. <sighs> oh. Man, I don't know about you, but my shoulders are really sore from yesterday, so this is definitely painful. All right, now we've got a side plank hip drop. So you're gonna be on your forearm and coming up and you're just gonna tap and up. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Oh. Sorry, it paused me for some reason. Okay, going back, here we go. Side plank hip drop. Coming up, tap, and up, tap, and up. If you need to modify, put this lower leg knee on the ground and tap, tap, tap. So try, oof, try a couple all the way up. Okay, and now switch sides. We're in 30 seconds on the 
right, 30 seconds on the left, and you're stacking your feet. Can you see that? Stacking your feet so upper is on top of the other one. And you're coming straight down. Keep your booty tucked in underneath. So you have a straight line all the way from your shoulders to your feet. Okay. Now, ooh, taking a quick rest, stretch your arms back. Ooh, we're going back into that knee pull, okay? So high plank, legs back, ready? In, in, out, out. Now this move is brutal. So do as much as you can. If you need to, take a break. Rock back into child's pose and come right back to it. Okay? You can do this. Like I said, if you need to modify, just drop to your hands. Oh, oh sorry, just broke out for a second. So you can see a different angle, okay? So, flat line, in, in, out. In, in, 10 seconds, out, out, in, in, out, out, and then 10. Oh, man, that one's intense on the shoulders. Okay, back to the side, plank, hip drop. So we're on our right arm, feet are stacked, hand on the hip, and we're going to raise it up and tap. Ready? Three, two, one. Tap and up. Tap and up. Tap, up. Tap, up. Like I said, if you need to modify, drop <laughs> that lower knee to the ground and tap. You're still going to get a great workout on those abs. And just be have a little bit more support on that lower, with that lower leg. So do those a couple times. If you need to, we're gonna to switch to the other side. And then raise it all the way back up. These are intense. Don't beat yourself up if you can't do the full 30 seconds on each side when you start. It takes a lot of strength. Tap, 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 tap. Okay, I'm gonna move just a little bit so you can see you guys. Here we go. Tap. Like I said, drop the lower knee if needed. All right, round three is done. Moving on to round four. I have time my shoe really quick. Okay. Ooh. Let me get my notes down here where I can see them. We have just a regular crunch, okay? So down on your back, knees up, and we're crunching in and out. Simple, right? 60 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. Up, down. Now make sure your eyes are looking at the ceiling. You're not pulling on your neck with your hands. And you're pressing your lower back into the mat when you come up. So if you put your hand under there, you shouldn't be able to feel a space. It should be pressed firmly against the mat. Really important, keep your eyes up so you're not straining your neck. Now, to modify little crunches, but go as much as you can with that lower back pressed into the ground, abs drawn in tight. And, okay. Next move is called a frog crunch. So back on your back again, legs are straight up, and then you're just gonna turn your toes out. You see that? Okay, and then when you crunch up, your knees are gonna come down, staying in that outward rotation, and then up. Ready? Three, two, one. So we crunch up and down, up and down. Like a little frog. <laughs> so same things apply as the crunch in that you are not 
pulling on your neck with your hands or stringing your neck. Your lower back is staying pressed into the ground. And now we're adding the legs, keeping those toes turned out the whole time. 20 seconds left. So you should really be feeling it in your abs by now. I don't know about you, but mine are burning. Blow the air out as you crunch in. Okay, we got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so lay it all the way back. Just stretch out those abs really quick, and we're going to go back to crunches. Okay, so knees back up, hands behind the head. Three, two, one. Up, crunch. There we go. So just relax your gaze. No tensing in the neck. Let it come up naturally as you crunch. Focus on what you are doing now. You are taking 30 minutes of your whole day to yourself. 30 minutes to focus on doing something for you. You got this. 10 seconds left. Really give it your all. Five, four, three, two, one, oof, and down. Okay, 10 seconds and we're going into frog crunches. Flatten everything out, reach over your head, get a good stretch there before we crunch it all back together. Okay, are we ready? Frog crunches, legs up, toes pointed out, hands behind the head, and crunching in for 60 seconds. So remember, keep those toes turned out. And we're crunching in. You guys are doing awesome. So proud of you. Whew. 15 seconds. You're doing great. Don't quit on me now. Keep those toes turned out as we're crunching in. 10 seconds. And we're almost done with this round. Two, one. Ah, does not feel good to be done with that round. Okay. Now, whew, we have an oblique side crunch. So, sorry I say so a lot. I realize that. And watching these. So back here, you're just going to let these knees fall to the ground. Okay? So they're just next to you on the ground. But your chest is still straight, pointed up towards the ceiling. And you're punching up over that hip. Ready? Three, two, one. So, this time you're going to start to really feel it in those obliques again as you're coming up over that hip. So, knees are to the right. Hold on, checking my notes. Yep, yeah, we have 30 seconds on the right, and then we switch. Okay, switch to the other side. So bring your knees up, over, and crunch. So same thing, we're not straining our neck. We're just coming up and over. Seven seconds left, and we'll go to our next move. You're doing great. And okay. Next move is a sit up with a lift. So you're gonna want your weight for this one. Okay. You're gonna have it in both hands. And let's see, I'll go this way to demonstrate. 
Okay, you're gonna go all the way flat, okay? And then, hold on, you're gonna come up and lift your leg as you come up. And then straight back and lift. Okay, ready? Here we go. All the way down. Lift and back. Lift and back. Your leg is coming up as you come up. Now, if you need to modify, drop the weight. Okay, if you're having trouble getting up with your legs flat, bring your knees up and just lift like this as you come up. Okay, so this is modified, no weight, coming up with you on your knees, lifting one leg. But if you can, grab a weight, and switch legs. And done. All right. Woo. Back to those oblique crunches. Okay, get your weight out of the way. Back, knees up. Drop into the right, and here we go. Crunch, crunch. So same thing, remember, don't pull on your neck. We don't want to strain your neck here. 30 seconds on this side, and we'll switch to the other side. Five, four, three, two, one, switch. Legs over to the other side, chest facing up. Here we go. Sorry about my cat. <laughs> I think she wasn't fed this morning, but she was. You know, she's scratching at her bag. So sorry if that is loud for you guys. with the lift. So again, weight in both hands, over the back, lifting as you come up. So keep your lower back, press firmly against the ground. I'm just going to move so you can see it this way. Over the head, all the way back if you can. Oh, sorry, I have something behind me. And down. I'm just gonna move back here so you can see this better. I wanna make sure you can see the whole thing. Over the head and lift. Okay, 
So if you need to, oof, bring the legs up higher. Take them as low as your strength will allow. 20 seconds. 10 seconds. Almost there. Woo. Man, that one is intense, right? Okay, quick sip of water. We have to repeat that bonus round and then we're done. Okay, so don't quit on me now. Here we go. Back to flutter kicks. 30 seconds. We got this. So bring them down as low as you can. Try and relax the neck, even as your abs are working really hard. Halfway there, you can do this. Now, like I said, to modify, come down onto your back, keep your legs up here. But if you can, stick with me. You got this, five seconds. Three, two, one. Woo, done, okay. All we have to do is cross kicks, and we are done. So, final move of the day, you made it this far with me. Don't quit now, all right? We're gonna do this for 45 seconds and then we are done. So back in that leaning back position on your forearms and here we go. Three, two, one. Cross kicks. You guys are doing great. Now, modify again, back here. Up in the air. Bring your legs down though to get those abs working. All right? As low as you can go. And then if you can, jump back here. Almost done. 15 seconds. Ooh. It's hard for me too, guys. Five, four, three, two, and one. We are done. You made it. 30 minutes of abs with the 12 minute warm up. All right, guys, I love seeing your comments below when these videos post in the group. I love knowing what you think. So, comment below. Did you like it? Did you do it? How was it? Were your abs on fire? And also, what do you guys want to see more of in your workouts, okay? Are you liking the workouts? Is there anything else you wanna to see? Tomorrow, I have um, lower body scheduled, so we're gonna do some awesome lower body moves. Um, but I'm totally up for suggestions. You know, I can modify my plan. Let me know what you need. Do you need more modifications? Um, do you need recommendations to take it up a level? Let me know and I will adjust as needed. So. One thing I wanted to talk about here really quick today was the concept of good and bad choices. So I heard this great, I don't know if it's saying or quote or whatever the other day, but basically it said, there are no good or bad choices. There are only consequences. And I thought this was so great because how often do we demonize food, right? Do we say this is good and this is bad? And when we eat something bad, we are, we feel guilt and shame and remorse and we beat ourselves up about it and it leads this downward spiral and somehow, even though it's a negative thing, we focus on that and we, we let food have this emotional quality in our life by, by saying this is good and this is bad. And so when you take that out of it and you realize there's no good or bad choices, there are only consequences, it takes the emotional aspect out of it. So sure, you're gonna eat pizza, not necessarily a bad choice, but there are going to be consequences to that choice, okay? You eat, you follow the meal plan we're doing. I'm not gonna say it's good or bad, but there are also 
consequences to them. And you have to think about those consequences when you make those choices. So I don't eat good 100% of the time. Life's too short, right? I still go out and have drinks and dessert and hamburgers and french fries sometimes, but I don't beat myself up over it because I made that choice. You know, it drives me crazy, honestly, when I go out with friends or something and they question my choice, like, oh, are you really gonna eat that? I mean, aren't you worried about, you know, gaining weight or whatever? And I'm like, no, I don't worry about it because I made that decision. It was a conscious decision. decision. Yes, I know the consequences of that. I know that eating these foods that don't make me feel good, it's gonna make me tired, it's gonna make me lethargic, it's probably gonna make me bloated and irritable and grumpy, and I'm gonna be less inclined to stick to my plan the next day, but I'm okay with that because sometimes you need flexibility in your life. So if you slipped up, don't beat yourself up over it. Don't look at it as a bad thing, okay? Just realize there's gonna be consequences to every decision that you make, and they may be you know, good consequences or not so good consequences, but that's all they are. So if you didn't do you know, great yesterday, that's okay. Don't beat yourself up about it. Just work harder to stay on track today and make choices that you are going to be happy with the consequences, okay? Thanks for listening. Thanks for doing this, for participating in the group. I love, love you guys. Have an awesome, awesome day. Bye.